Hey everyone, it's Melissa here to plan in my Happy Memory Keeping Planner, otherwise known as my absolute favorite planner. This week I'm actually documenting memories from my best friend's wedding, so excited to finally put these in my memory planner. But first I'm actually going to finish up the Happy Memory Keeping Challenge by putting that final photo there on the 30th. I've had a lot of fun participating in this challenge and it's been really great to interpret the different prompts, but I'm somewhat glad to see it end because it took up a lot of photos in my memory planner. A lot of planner babes put them in their monthly view and I definitely wish that I ended up doing that, but I decided to do a black and white theme in my monthly view that I'm absolutely loving and I really like how that turned out. To see that, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. Now as you saw, my first step is to usually lay out the photos where I'd plan to put them. Memory planning does take a little bit of pre-planning for me in that I have to print my photos. Now with the Canon Selfie, you have to print four photos at a time, so it's essential for me to have a game plan when printing my photos. That's usually why I'm a week or two behind in my memory planner because I have to plan out printing my photos with the Canon Selfie. I know I could print single photos at a time using the Canon Selfie, but I don't really like to do that. I feel like it's a waste, and although the Canon Selfie is very economical, I don't really want to waste the ink on it. I've done research on this, and it's definitely the cheapest instant printer. Now, it's not portable, so that is the downside to it, but at the same time, I just keep it on my desk at home in the study, so I don't really take it with me when I'm on vacation the way a zip printer would be really handy to do that. Usually I ground smaller horizontal photos like this with either a scrapbook paper behind it or a sticker behind it, but this time I wanted to create a washi frame. How I did that is I took one of the skinny washi and I put it all the way around the photo. Then my plan was to stack a thicker washi around it. Now I tried it with this half inch glitter washi and it was way too thick. So I decided to cut it in half widthwise to just have one quarter thick washi right against the one eighth thick washi. I'm loving how it turned out and I like that it's a different way to use so many of the washi that I already own. In general, I feel like I've really stepped away from washi in my planning and I'm trying to do a better job storing it in that when I store it in a place that's much more visible to me, I'll actually reach for it and use it. To be honest with you, that's not working so far, but I hope to be better and I hope to use them regularly even in my classic or in my mini because I have not used them in months in either of those planners. I love this quote of the week section in my memory planner, but at the same time I don't have any kids and my friends and family don't really say anything precocious or cute to end up in this. However, this week my friend said something to me that was so funny I spent about 10 minutes just laughing at her. So I decided to document that really funny moment by spelling out the quote with this alphabet sticker pack. As a small aside, we were actually in a self-defense training session at work and one of the trainers had said, anything can be a weapon, even a pen. My best friend turned to me and said, oh my god, is this Jason Bourne? Because she thought that the idea was so ridiculous that a pen could be used as a weapon when someone is threatening you. She remembered one of the iconic scenes in the Jason Bourne franchise is where he takes down two people, one of them with a pen only. This sent me into fits of giggles because I remembered precisely the scene that she was talking about. And I was laughing so hard during the training session that everyone was looking at us. That's definitely one of my favorite moments this week. To really emphasize Jason Bourne in that quote, I decided to switch up the font and the color so that your eyes really drawn to it. Now I knew I had to keep it neutral in the date covers because of the look I was going for. I wish they had purple date covers, but perhaps I would have been way too much purple on this spread. Now that I've gone ahead and picked out a color scheme, I can go ahead and start to journal and fill in this planner. I've been filling out this currently section for a few months now, and I have to say that my answers are generally the same, so I feel like I want to cover these up and do more with the space that's here. So I spent some time going through all of my sticker books to look for all of the pretty purple stickers. Purple is definitely my favorite color, so I really love using it in my planner, so I do have a tendency to run out of purple stickers. That bring on the fun sticker is actually from a happy memory keeping insert that I punched out with a big box punch. The You Are My Favorite stickers from the Floral Memory sticker book. I love how so many of the stickers in that book are watercolored and pastels and they provide a really soft feminine feel. This big box sticker is actually from a student sticker book. I forget which one. I will go ahead and link it below. This sticker has actually been very useful for me this week to document everything that went on with the wedding. Honestly, I have so many sticker books and what I usually do when I'm memory planning is I pull out all of the big and happy memory keeping sticker books and I don't really look at the classic sticker books that I have unless I'm looking for a specific food icon or another icon sticker. But really, this big box sticker that's designed to go over two boxes in a vertical planner is really perfect to use to journal about all the different things that happened that week. 
The things that I wrote in there were not really specific to Monday or Tuesday. They're just generally all the things that I had to get done. I went to my friend's bachelorette party on Wednesday. So just the different events that happened throughout the week related to my best friend's wedding. I like using this big box sticker that's really designed for two vertical boxes and repurposing them in my memory planner because I don't have a vertical planner this year and I don't know if I will be getting one next year. Another sticker that's come in handy for my memory planning is the Colorful Boxes sticker book. I love how in the Colorful Boxes sticker book you can pretty much find any color of box that you need and how they coordinate with other Mambi stickers. In my memory planner I've been using them to caption photos the way that I did on that selfie on Friday as well as that photo on Thursday. It's been very versatile for me to layer over photos and that way I can caption a photo without it taking up much of the spread. Now this ticket sticker is actually from one of the travel sticker rolls. I really need to come up with a better way to store these stickers on the sticker rolls because I really don't use them and I find that there's actually lots of very useful and cute stickers in there that can be used in any planner. I was so inspired I found another ticket sticker that I wanted to cut up the header of and then turn sideways to use to caption the photos in my memory planner. I wish I had the foresight to put one of these ticket stickers on the other side of the spread so that it would be much more balanced, but that's okay. I still think it looks pretty cute. I am a floral hoarder. I always tell my friends they can use whatever sticker that they want for my stash, as long as it's not a floral sticker. If you like this video, please click like, and I hope you'll subscribe.